I love you Lord. I submit totally to your will. I will do whatever you tell me to do. I will listen to you all the time. Even if you tell me to go to a place like Iraq. Is Iraq not too far? No Lord, anywhere you tell me to go to except Iraq, Iran and Afghanistan. I can be a missionary for you in Australia or Canada. Australia is very far but I can go there for you Lord. I am willing and able. Your dear servant is ready to take on any assignment. Hello Jackson. It's a beautiful Monday isn't it? I don't know about beautiful but I know it's a Monday. Oh I see. Are you done with your project? You are asking too many questions. Sorry. Lord, I commit today's work unto your hands. Please take perfect control Lord in Jesus name. I want you to tell Jackson about me. Tell him that I want to help him carry his burden. Lord, I'm sorry I can't do that. This is the office. I can't discuss my faith in the office. But a while ago, you said you'll do whatever I tell you to do. Yes I said so but this is different. I said Canada and Australia Lord not the office. I can't tell my colleague about you. But he needs me. I am not the only one in this office. You can tell someone else. Mary can do a better job. But you have been chosen for this. No no no. I'm sorry. I can't. Elena, I'm going on vacation with my boyfriend. So you are happy because you are such a joy killer. That's why you don't have any boyfriend at 25. I am not complaining. You better complain. Don't you want to enjoy your life? Do you want to die single? Life should be enjoyed. Can't your top be longer than this? Don't you know it is not good to dress indecently? What you think about what I wear does not matter. You don't have to like it. Your opinion does not count. You know I care about you Sandra. Going on a vacation with your boyfriend is not right. This lifestyle of yours is not good. Have you been in love before? Right. You have never been in love so I don't expect you to understand why I'm going for vacation. But I am currently experiencing God's kind of love. It is purest kind of love. That's boring. I don't want to experience that. You mean you don't want God to show you his love? The love I'm getting from my boyfriend is enough. Elena, that boy loves me better than my parents. What you are saying is that your parents never loved you. Well, they tried the best. Sandra, the love Jesus gives is better than that of any boyfriend. Accept Jesus today as your Lord and Savior. And live a boring life like you do. That's not going to happen. But Christianity is not boring. It is very boring. Satan is only enticing you with what can destroy you. I have to go and prepare for my trip Elena. Bye. Lord, I did what you told me. I think the voice I heard was God's voice. I can't preach to someone at the office. Office is for work. I'm not telling anyone our Jesus there. I don't want my colleagues to start thinking I'm a religious fanatic. How was work, darling? Work was fine. How was work too? Work was good. Did you see Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin on your way in? No, I didn't. Why? Mr. Benjamin has been sent to North Sudan as a missionary. North what? You mean he's resigning from his high-paying job to be a missionary? What is wrong with Mr. Benjamin? He said God told him to do so. He can't be serious. I'm going to his house to talk to him. I don't think you should go. Watch me. Why is he taking it so serious? Hello Mr. Nathan. I was at your house few minutes ago. Yes. That's why I'm here to see you. Okay. Come in. My wife said you were going to Africa. Yes. My wife and I are going to North Sudan. Why? The Lord is sending us there as missionaries. Really? So when are you returning? The Lord did not give me a specific date. So you are going on a suicide mission? No, I'm going on a soul winning mission. You want to leave your high paying medical profession for uncertainty? I'm not leaving the medical profession. I'll be providing medical treatment for the people of the community. So you are happy going backward in life? What do you mean by going backward? From a city doctor to a village doctor. I didn't tell you I'd be going to a village. 
Even if God sends me to a village, so be it. You need to think this through, Mr. Benjamin. What are you going to be eating? Where are you going to live? Jesus said in John 4.34, My food is to do the will of he who sent me and to finish his work. I'm saying the same thing to you. I just want to do the will of the Father and finish the work he sent me to do. Do you realize that North Sudan is an Islamic country, and 91% of them are Muslims? Yes I do. Are you not scared of what might happen to you? No I'm not though it took me a year and six months to prepare for this journey. I am sold out to God. I do not own myself. Wow. You are really a strong man. I admire your courage. Thanks. Have you done what God told you to do? How did you know that God told me to do something? I heard it in my spirit. Wow. So have you. No. I can't. Why? I can't talk to Jackson about Jesus. Why? He is my colleague at work. I can't be preaching at work. It's unethical. Are you ashamed of your faith? No, I'm not. Everyone in my office knows that I am a Christian. I don't hide it. Jesus said in Mark 8:38, For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. If you are ashamed of your faith, Jesus will be ashamed of you too. When you buy a suit or a shoe that you like, you talk about it and even tell your colleagues where to get it but when it cones to your faith, you can't. Mr. Nathan, go and do what God has told you to do because it is very urgent. It is urgent? Yes it is. Look for a time to say it. It can be during lunch hour or at the close of the day. It is important you deliver the message as soon as possible. All right. Thank you so much. I will. God may not send you to North Sudan like me, I want you to know that anywhere you are is a mission field. Your office, your community, everywhere. Thank you so much Mr. Benjamin. I'll miss you. Do take care of yourself. I will. This life isn't worth living. I want to kill myself. Thank God for Mr. Benjamin. Now I know that anywhere can be my mission field, and I should not be ashamed to share my faith. Lord, I'm sorry for disobeying you. Please Lord, give me another chance to talk to Jackson tomorrow. Lord please, keep him safe. Sandra baby, do you know I can't sleep, I can't eat, I can't even breathe without you. You are my life Sandra. You are the air that I breathe. Really? You love me that much? I love you more than I can express in words. No one can ever love you as much as I do. I love you with my life. Wow. Thanks my love. I love you too with my life. Promise me that you'll never leave me. I Sandra, promise you Andre that I'll never leave you. I promise to never leave you too. We are going to enjoy this vacation. I'm sure of that. Let me get our room key. I'll be right back. All right. Hello. I made a reservation. Hello. Welcome to Continental Hotel. What's your name please? Andre Williams. Give me a minute. Hello beautiful angel. Are you here alone? Hey, no I'm not alone. I'm here with my boyfriend. I am her boyfriend. Leave my girlfriend alone. Hey, chill. He was only admiring the beautiful girl. Don't let me ever see you around her. Okay, babe, calm down. Don't tell me that nonsense. Let's go. Why did you even give him your attention? Is there harm in greeting someone? He is a guy. There is harm in greeting him. I don't want to lose you. You have to be able to trust me. I don't like seeing you with other guys. It makes me jealous. I have promised you that I won't leave you. You have to trust me. Okay. I trust you. We are going to a private beach tomorrow. Yay. I can't wait. Let's get something to eat at the hotel restaurant then get some rest. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. Okay. Oh Jesus. Thank you for another chance. Are you talking to me? No. Sorry, yes. I actually want to talk to you. What is it? I was actually supposed to deliver a word to you yesterday but I didn't. A word? From who? From the Lord. The Lord? He said I should tell you that he wants to help you carry your burden. 
He really cares about you. Can we finish this at the cafeteria before we get busy? Sure. So the Lord really cares about me? He does and he wants you to know that. I have been struggling a lot and I almost ended it all yesterday. Something just held me back. Nathan, I'm tired of living. I have a good job but I feel empty. Thank God the Lord kept you till today. I won't have been able to forgive myself if anything had happened to you. Jackson, Jesus wants to fill that void. He wants to fill your heart with his love. Please, allow him into your heart. He wants to carry every burden for you. So what do I do now? Confess him with your mouth as your Lord and Savior and accept him into your heart. I'm ready to do that. Glory be to God. Let's pray together. Caroline, do you know Jesus loves me? You believe in Jesus. Since when? Since today. I now believe in Jesus. Can't you see that I'm so happy? You should believe in Jesus too. Wow. Jackson just gave his life to Christ today and he has told everyone in the office about Jesus. He did what I couldn't do for so long in a day. This private beach is so beautiful. This must have cost you a fortune. I can do anything to prove my love for you baby. Guess what? What? I have a new name for you. Really? What's the name? The air that I breathe. The what? The air that I breathe. Don't you like it? I really love it. I'm glad you love the name. I already changed your name on my phone from baby to the air that I breathe. T-A-T-I-B for short. T-A-T-I-B. Yes, the first letters of the air that I breathe. Wow. That's super nice. I know it is. Are you not going to give me a pet name? What name can I give you? I'll call you my love. That's too simple and common. You should give me a unique pet name. Something special like my substance, my warrior king, the color blue in my sky, my shield and armor. I like my warrior king. I'll call you that. That's me. I like that. I am your warrior king. You won't believe Jackson called me that he is already in church. Really? So early? Yes. He is so much in love with Jesus now. He is always asking me questions from the Bible. He is growing fast. I'm glad you spoke to him before it was too late. I'm glad I did. His blood would have been on my neck. Thank you, Jesus. We don't want to be late. Let's go to church. What a great sermon. No love should take the place of God in our life. Yes. God first, spouse second, children third. Yes, dear. That's the order. God's love is the most important kind of love. That's Jackson over there. Hello, Nathan. Good to see you, man. Meet my wife. Hello. It's nice to finally meet you. You are so beautiful. I need to see someone now. I have to be on my way. See you later, man. See you at the office. Thanks for everything. I was really blessed by the sermon. Hope you always pray for him. Yes, I do. Mr. Benjamin called me yesterday. Really? How are they doing? They are doing great. I told him about Jackson. He was really happy. Wow, that's great. I'm glad they are fine. Dear Lord, please save Sandra from destruction. I have told her about your love like you told me to but she is still resisting. Please Lord, do what only you can do. Intervene Lord. Why do you want to see me Sandra? I don't want people to start thinking I'm like you since you don't want to change. What's that? Are you ashamed of me? Yes I am. I just came back from my vacation and this is how you'll welcome me. Why do you want to see me Sandra? Anyway, I am in love. So, Andre is so loving and caring. You won't believe he can't breathe without me. Okay, are you not surprised? Why should I be? Have you considered the possibility of him being asthmatic? Maybe you are his inhaler. My Andre is not asthmatic. You think so? I know so. You clearly do not know what real love is. You are in a very unhealthy and unholy relationship. Your relationship is very toxic. That's not true. Andre says I am the air that he breathes. He can die for me. I know that. What a savior. Yes. He is my savior. Wake up Sandra. Can't you see everything is wrong with this your love? 
I don't know Elena. It is scary at times though. You think this is love because you haven't experienced genuine love. The love I have experienced from my heavenly father makes me understand what real love is. A man who doesn't have a relationship with the Lord can't even love you right. What's his love inspiration? I don't know. His love inspiration is Satan. You think? I know so. I want to get milkshake and donut. I'll be right back. Don't worry. I'll get it for you. Hello beautiful. Hi. My boyfriend must not see you talking to me so please leave. Leave my woman alone. Leave the air that I breathe alone. What is your problem? Why are you not allowing me to breathe? What are you even doing here? The guy he slapped just collapsed. Someone please call 911. How can they lock me in a cell for fighting for my love? How am I supposed to breathe now? So he is your boyfriend? Not anymore. Are you here to bail him? No. I want a restraining order. He is a dangerous man. I don't want him to harm me. Has he ever harmed you? No but he has the tendency to. Okay. You can get a restraining order from a court. Thanks. Is the guy he pushed going to be fine? Yes. He only had a mild concussion. Thank God. What do you want to do now? The only type of love I want is that love you've been talking about. I don't want to have anything to do with Andre again. Can you imagine? He just appeared out of nowhere. I can't even have a life outside this guy. He monitors me everywhere I go. What a monitoring spirit. I want to experience the Jesus love. I am tired of this toxic love. I don't want it anymore. Thank you Jesus.